Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of medical podcast series at Medsynapse. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome back Dr. Sudhanshu Mishra and associate consultant at in internal medicine at Avi Hospital Gurugram. And today our topic of discussion is the holy grail of telehealth ingestion sensors might replace polypill. So let's start the session. Uh, doctor, can you uh, explain the concept of ingestion sensors and how do they have the potential to revolutionize telehealth? Uh, so ingestion sensors are like capsules, ma'am. The capsules we ingest in our day-to-day life. The problem ingestion sensors is basically they are sort of a therapeutic uh, mode of uh, what to say medical IOTs. They have specific pH monitoring, gastric pH monitoring. They have specific sensors. Uh, let's say they can monitor your gastric pH in case of a sort of a uh, Hirschsprung disease or a celiac screw, they can monitor it. And uh, also they can be used in uh, other forms like polypills. So they have a unique drug delivery system also which might be developed uh, sometime or later. There is a very uh, nascent literature on it because there are hardly 15 to 20 papers uh, on uh, injection sensors. Or uh, And uh, there is one more thing. Uh, injection sensors are a new technology in US that were launched around uh, 8 to 10 years ago. They are tried in various forms of therapies and uh, let's assume it's sort of a pill which has a uh, electric sensors in it and uh, plus uh, a remote sensing technology just like your endoscopic uh, sort of a capsule endoscopy. Uh, if you can note the procedure capsule endoscopy, a capsule is placed uh, uh, you ingest a capsule and capsule uh, captures various camera images. Now, ingestion sensors can also modify various sort of uh, cardiac therapies also like uh, lipid levels, let's say polypill. A polypill is sort of a 5 pill amalgamation which is ingested and which has been sort of a now discarded therapy. So it can be tried ingestion sensors also. The technology is sort of uh, where you have different uh, sensors embedded in like pH sensors. It might be a sort of a uh, uh, let's say uh, blood glucose sensors, uh, let's say uh, another sort of a therapy like uh, uh, let's say Parkinsonisms, they have different type of sensors. So these type of sensors are being used remotely and the market of variables, uh, let's say smart bands, smart watches, they are increasingly becoming more popular in uh, India. Uh, yeah, thank you, doctor. And uh, which patient population could benefit uh, the most from the use of ingestion sensors as an alternative to traditional polypill medication? Uh, for example, uh, ingestion sensors can be more controlled by a remote uh, web server. A polypill cannot be controlled that way. Uh, ingestion sensors can be more controlled by a remote sensors. They can be timed. They can be measurable, and sort of they are uh, more friendly because we have more uh, parameters. Uh, let's, let's give an example, if I ingest a polypill for say 20 days, I don't know what will happen. It might uh, absorb in the stomach or not, jejunum or not. But uh, in a case of ingestion sensors, I have specific data like pH timings, uh, let's say blood glucose levels, let's say lipid levels. So I can titrate it accordingly next day. So sort of a, they are more specifically precision type of uh, medicine that has been applied and uh, sort of they are more difficult to procure and more costlier than this. And doctor, uh, what is the role of this ingestion sensors evolving post-COVID compared to pre-COVID? Uh, Swam, uh, problem is in viral vectors, uh, we have more uh, sort of uh, autonomous robots. Like in Durham, we have uh, rehabilitation robots, which can use capsules. And uh, there is one more thing. In uh, various types of uh, precision technologies like autonomous robots, they can uh, used in rehabilitation as well as medication therapies. So sort of uh, ingestion sensors are sort of a value addition to them. Just assume they are sort of pills and they have various different sensors and primarily used in gastric pH monitoring uh, for uh, various gastric pathologies. Yeah, and this must have few challenges also. So can you discuss the challenges of implementing the ingestion sensors in telehealth practices? For example, let's say uh, I have a patient which has a sort of a GERD with a diabetic. So I can use uh, both variable like let's say there's an Apple Watch 6 and I can consume ingestion sensors. 
so i can have more precision monitoring of the patient and uh, compared to sort of a let's say a data technology where uh, sort of physician can for example like an auscultate here uh, for example like an auscultate here i can use uh, sort of a finger picking for sugars and mostly i will use various laboratories like i can just uh, take a sample and after that i can sort of judge it now injection sensor has sort of a various uh, fine monitoring data various things various various things okay doctor and uh, what about the safety and uh, the privacy considerations surrounding the use of the sensors and uh, how patient data is securely managed in the telehealth setting it is ma'am basically it has a very good 128 bit reception circuit remotely no problem is as i earlier explained in my lecture which might be visible or not there is a open system like linux but it is prone to open dds attacks and plus we have to follow hipaa guideline hipaa guideline h i p w a as per us stf so hipaa guidelines can be followed and there is one more thing the hipaa guidelines uh, have prohibit any leak of any uh, parameters which might harm patient in the long run for example if i say for example let's say a fictional story you are a sort of a hypoglycemic patient with 40 to 60 blood sugar levels in that case what i will do i will just procure a data and i can sort of reverse that by open dds attack so that can be done although fictional but can be done so that is a very stringent hipaa guidelines for that or i can misuse uh, in future activities also because that can harm you in the long run if you are a hypoglycemic who need a sort of a, a glucose capsules or you need a sort of a insulin injector you have a sort of insulin delivery systems like type 1 diabetes they have specifically the insulin delivery systems here so if i can uh, know what exact values i can harm you in the long run so these type of servers are protected by hipaa guidelines so they are more safer yes and it's really very important to safeguard patient data also and doctor what are the potential cost implications of using ingestion sensors yeah might be ranging around 20 25000 ma'am minimum and that too if i can reverse transfer the technology which is not available here so it will take around 2 to 3 years because uh, uh, let's say even if it is xiaomi if i have apple watch also it might be more costly than apple watch if i go for a very good ingestion sensors in united states there are 8 to 10 telehealth research papers they are doing it with the universities but ingestion sensors in india are very rare and not used in india they are used in us in various research technologies and only might be in mit or cleveland they are used and they are very costlier and for reverse transfer technology it is very difficult and uh, doctor are there any ongoing research or clinical trials exploring the efficacy and the real world application of ingestion sensor if you go to pubmed and lancet there are eight to nine research papers on ingestion sensors and uh, there is uh, one more thing ingestion sensors are uh, a uh, very specific uh, data collection it requires a huge amount of infrastructure building so it might take 3 to 4 crores to 10 crores to just reverse sensor technology might be more now after that if i can market it it's very rare yes doctor yeah uh, so yes doctor now um, we have arrived towards the end of session so thank you uh, dr sudhanshu for your time and for sharing your insights in this topic and thank you audience for tuning in expect more informative and insightful session in the future stay connected with med synapse for the updates until next time take care and keep advancing in medical journey goodbye